Okay. I'm at your mercy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, my head's chopped off. You're too tall compared to me. This chair, I thought it... Will it go down? It won't go down. You want to switch chairs? Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Mother's Day, so guess who I have with me today? It's my gorgeous, beautiful, kind mother. Yes! Hi, Mom! Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'm so glad to be here. Anytime yes. with you, I'm glad to be with you. Now, we're going to be doing your glam today. Okay. And I've never done it before. I'm excited. I've never done your makeup. No, you haven't. I'm excited as well. Yes. So, keep on watching as I transform my mother from this to this. Let's start. Do you know what the first step technically is to do makeup before you do anything? Moisturize. Moisturize or prime. Okay. Yeah. And Does it matter that I've got some on? Should we take it off? I don't know. Red and ready. <laughs> but what about this? Why don't we do like all the boring shit off camera, like the foundation, and we'll just jump on like into like the eye makeup and stuff. Okay. Wanna do that? Whatever you want to. Let's do that. I think everyone knows by now how to put on foundation. If you don't, good luck to you. Now, Mom, a lot of people consider us to be like twins. I mean, we've gotten it our whole, my whole life, been told I look like just like you, mm -hmm. you know? In what ways do you think I'm like you? You're like me in a lot of ways. So tell me, a few. Your creativity, mm -hmm. I think you got a lot of that from me. Your attention to detail got my daddy's eyes mm -hmm. and his name. Yes. We just think a lot alike. We do. Our opinions about a lot of things are a lot alike. Now, Mom, before we started filming, you were telling me about how, you know, you're, because you're like me with skin. We're both very red complected and we have like rosacea. Right. But you also got burned yes. really badly when you were young. Yeah. I was, Tell six, us about it. I was 16, my cousin and I, my cousin Kendra had come down, and with being 16, we were going to be all tan. And tan, wanted to get some sun. Yeah, so we then laid out on the back deck to my grandma's, right on the water, and fell asleep. Oh, in the sun. In the sun. Fell asleep in the sun. And got so burnt, I had hanging sacks, water sacks from my cheeks. And my face swelled so bad that my eyes were just about swelled shut. Oh my God, And then it, as it healed, it took a long time for it to start healing. It scabbed over and I don't recommend it. Yeah, no, the sun can be very dangerous. Yes. And it ages your skin. Yep, it sure does. But we all want that summer tan. We all want that summer tan. But I advise you to wear something at all times on yes. your face. Absolutely. Especially if anywhere the face. Yeah. Hard lesson learned for me because it And throat. It has uh, damaged my skin permanently. Yeah. Power of makeup. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are officially going to move on to the eye look. Now today we are going to be incorporating flowers. And I think I'm going to do like sort of like yellow and green and blue. Um, and we'll see what happens. I totally trust you. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, come over here. You're the master. Mm -hmm. My balls <laughs> are smashed. That's a sin. All right, put your eyebrows up and close your eyes so that your skin's nice and tight. Mm. Raise, raise that one. Close. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes down. Okay, okay let I me, can't, I can't let me hold her. <laughs> Tell us um, a favorite moment of my childhood that. I mean, I've got so many. Okay, well. Every day was a good moment. Yeah. Well, how about this? How about this question? Like, when did you first see that my love for the arts was going to really take off? Two. You were probably about two and a half, three years old when you first started drawing. Okay, tell us about it. 
you started with the Wizard of Oz characters. And right. what you would do is you would want me to draw them for you, and then you would copy what I had drawn. Mm -hmm. And I've kept a bunch of them from the time me and your Nana both. Really? Yeah. I want to see them. I don't, I've got them in storage, but yeah, I've kept them. Then you started drawing real early. And I'd let you paint Three? Mm -hmm. By the time you were in pre-K, your drawings stood out. You could always tell. I'd always let you, I mean, with the paint and everything, I'd put you in your high chair and you'd sit there and draw and paint and for hours. Never cared for toys much, like regular toys. Yeah, tell us about it. Like, I was very different. You were. Yeah. You, you cared more about drawing and you loved your movies and and um, Scooby-Doo was yours and Landon's favorite for the longest, mm -hmm. I'd say. But I never really played with toys. No, you had a few things, but you really never played with toys. Barbies. You were, you were more interested in, uh, you had a Godzilla, you liked him. Mm -hmm. You remember him? Yeah. You made the noises. And, and I would even like kind of develop my own language in a way. Yeah. But you loved power cords and vacuum cleaners and telephones, <laughs> anything you could take apart. Mm -hmm. You you loved anything like that, but you loved vacuum cleaners. That was your first true love. Mm -hmm. We got you a shop back one Christmas when you were just a little fella. Yeah, you called them vooms. Vooms. Yep, and everywhere we went, you wanted to know where the boom was. You worked the hardest to get everything had to be just right. The cord had to be put perfectly straight. The hose had to be perfectly straight. But you loved a vacuum cleaner. You were enthused with them. No toys, but a vacuum. Yep, vacuum cleaner. You like you were interested in seeing how things work. You were just how you know, like plugging things in. It was a little dangerous. Yeah. I just love how it was very we were very free as children. You let us oh, yeah. destroy the whole house if yeah, we wanted to. That I did. I enjoyed letting you play and paint and anything you wanted to do creative, I was all for it. Peace. A lot of movies. A lot of movies. Yep. And I think it really is the movies that really, it was a huge part of me, like how mm -hmm. I am today. Because we lived in such a small, like shut up place well, wrong, from the whole wrong. world. But it was the movies that allowed you to, I don't know, yeah, dream yeah, and yeah. like adventure. adventure. How about our shows? We, did. we would even put on shows. Yep. For Trans the family. Trans Transform the whole wow. living room into a stage. Yep, we did. We had fun. A little gap. <laughs> are you afraid your boobs are gonna bust, bust out? out? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of blue. Okay. Now I'm just going to place a little bit of highlight onto the inner corner just to make her a little bit more blinding, a little bit more sparkly. So can we now tell the world that you were the person that bought me my first camera? Yes. You want to talk about that and how yes. it really changed everything? You started borrowing my camera that Mark had bought for me. Doing little things, showing a little interest, and then we got you your first camera. And it went from there. Bought me a little red. Yep. Nikon Cool Picks is what it was called. Yep. And you want me to be honest with you? Uh -huh. I thought it was, you know, those gifts where you're like, oh, I'm never going to use it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I yeah. honestly felt like I was never going to use it. But I did. Then look at where <laughs> we are today. That goes to show you, mom knows best. Yep. Did you ever think that I would be like so I thought you would be a graphic designer. That's what I thought you would be. Okay. I always wanted you to be an art teacher. Okay. I think you, I thought when you got in high school that you'd probably be a graphic designer. But I'm glad you went the way you did with the photography and went to New York and had that experience. And, did so well. And who knows what the f future holds. That's right. The world needs to know who you are. Thanks, I think you Mom. have a lot of creativity.
suffering and beauty to bring to the world. Mm -hmm. I think something that you stand for and is really important and it needs to, we need more of it in the world is kindness. Yes. You are so kind and you always have been and the world needs more of that. Well, thank you. All right, you guys, I just filled in my mom's eyebrows and what I also like to do is I like to take a spoolie and take some hairspray and spray the spoolie and then set the eyebrows in place, almost like a brow gel. And that will lock them in place and they won't move. I think I'm actually gonna take the vas Vaseline and do like I did my eyes. Make it, make it look wet. It adds almost like a very editorial look. All right, moving on, petals. <laughs> Let's glue these petals on. I'm just gonna take some eyelash glue. You know the drill, y'all, you know what I do. And we're just gonna stick them on. Yeah, my gosh. Mm hmm Big difference. Yes. A lash really makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And also a lip, which leads us into, let's get these lips done. You want to sail? <laughs> Mom, <laughs> you ready? I look like I got blade up lips. <laughs> you look like Kardashian. Yeah. My word. <laughs> Check them out. That's cool, Marshall. I think it just looks really pretty. Very pretty. Kissy lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the eyes. Me too. Pose. I don't know how to pose. Then look happy, look happy, look happy. <laughs> <laughs> now spin and look at the cameras right now. Like that, All right, everyone, that wraps up today's makeup look. Mom's transformed into Mother Nature over here, and I love it. What do you think? I think you're a master at your work. Oh, well, thank you. I think you did a wonderful job. I think it turned out really pretty. I knew you would. I knew you'd do wonderful. I love the flowers. Never doubted it. Love the flowers around the eye. Total trust. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I just wanted to say thank you for being such an amazing mother. I love you so much. Thank you for being such an amazing son, and I love you with all my heart. Oh. All right, you guys, we wish each and every single mother out there a wonderful, happy Mother's Day. We love you, and we celebrate you today. All right, you guys, remember to stay kind, stay positive, and stay sharp. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>